Hi, I'm Sandeep Apala and I'm a Solution Architect at Metascale. I'm very excited to welcome you to this demo screencast on the integration of a joint product offering between Metascale and Cognitio. In this demo, we are showcasing the integration of Cognitio's in-memory database with Hadoop and all of which is running on the Metascale's cloud environment. The main value proposition with this product is that enterprises can now perform high-speed in-memory analytics on data residing in Hadoop and consume it as a cloud service. So therefore, businesses do not need to invest on any upfront capital or hardware costs or Hadoop cluster maintenance uh, or data center monitoring or database infrastructure on large-scale servers. And business applications can reside on top of the Cognitio's in-memory database and still go, go on top of the relational database schema and perform ad hoc queries just like how uh, an application would perform on a database but now on big data from Hadoop. And for large-scale analytics and reporting on terabytes and petabytes of data, Hadoop's parallel processing can be leveraged um, using Hadoop services like Map, MapReduce, Hive, or Pig. Before going ahead with the demo, I'd like to give a quick overview of the solution architecture used for this demo. The Cognitio's in-memory database um, is running on eight different Linux virtual machines with uh, 32 GB of RAM and four cores each and with very minimal disk space as most of the data which is brought in from Hadoop is in memory which is used for analytics and we are not hitting any of uh, the disk I.O. which brings about latencies. So th for the demo the two channels of querying data is, is through Hive uh, on the data residing in Hadoop and also uh, through the Cognitio's GUI console on which simple SQL queries can be written on the data which is brought in from Hadoop. The data which is running in Hadoop for the demo is almost 10 terabytes of data from credit card transactions from uh, 82 different countries and for in-memory analytics we are going to trigger a, a, a Hive job which is going to bring in a subset of data from Hadoop into the Cognitio's database uh, maintaining the database schema on which ad hoc queries can be performed. So I'm going to log into my terminal now and show you the amount of data which we have in uh, Hadoop and as, as you can see we have almost uh, 10 terabytes of data which uh, involves the credit card transactions from two different countries. Now all of this data is exposed through Hive so ad hoc queries can be performed on large large, subs large subsets of data um, and aggregates of data to perform reporting. Now what if business users want to perform deep dive ad hoc analytics on smaller subsets of data from Hadoop instead of going through large scale an analytics. So most of the business applications rely on high speed analytics but on data now which can be which can be brought from Hadoop. I'm going to go into the virtual machine which runs the Cognitio's console where I can show you how we are going to bring data from Hadoop and perform simple ad hoc queries on it. So as you can see the data which we are getting from Hadoop is residing in the uh, Hadoop FinCC trans files and now we are going to trigger a hype job which can bring in data from Hadoop to the Cognitio's in-memory database. So from the GUI console now, on the fly, dynamically, I can trigger jobs which can um, bring in data from Hadoop into the database on which I can perform ad hoc queries. The job which I'm going to show you now, I know, is going to bring in data from credit card transactions from Mauritius from the big subs, big um, 82 different countries credit card transactions which I have in Hadoop. As you can see the job just took almost 21.7 seconds 
and uh, the average speed of data transfer was 8.56 MB per second. So according to solution architecture, we've used the Cognitio's WX2 fast loader to bring in data from Hadoop to Cognitio's database. So the advantage of the WX2 loader is that uh, during data transfer, rows are not processed uh, in the loader, but they're just using the TCP IP mechanism of the network link to just get in data and the processing of rows happen in, in memory in the database. So I'm going to step in more by providing more ad hoc queries now. We've brought in almost half a million rows of data from Hadoop into the Cognitio's database, as you can see. And I'm going to run simple SQL queries on, on the subset of data to do deep dive as any business user would do. Now I want to find out uh, the high spenders in the amount of transactions in Mauritius and I've run a simple SQL query which shows uh, with account ID which is a unique account identifier for each customer and the transaction years aggregated with all the spending and also the average spend. So these are like simple reports which business users want to uh, see on a daily day-to-day -day basis but, but now they can leverage this information from terabytes of historical data and petabytes of historical data and which can be brought in now in memory. I'm going to run another simple query which is going to show the balance information of certain targeted customers obtained from Hadoop. Now, as I've triggered a, C a SQL query, it is going to go on the subset of data which we brought in, which is the credit card transactions from Mauritius. As you can see, we have the debit balance information and also last credit information. So in summary, the, the value proposition of the combination is that in-memory big, big data analytics can now be performed on the fly and it can be leveraged in the cloud environment instead of setting up a big infrastructure and also having the barrier of setting up um, the infrastructure in, in your data center. Please visit us at metascale.com and also with, on our partner's website, Cognitios.com, to understand more about our joint offering and solutions on the managed services and Hadoop offering within memory databases. Thank you.